I just want two minutes. One minute. Why not? No, no, no. It's not. It's filming. It's not flash. It's not flash. Why is that? That you you care about what happens to them? It will spook them. Okay. Do you think they'll get spooked in there? They, they don't get spooked in there. Hello, darling. Hey. We're here with Devon Animal Save. Uh, this is a cow slaughterhouse, and we're here to say goodbye to the animals. Someone speak to him through the window. It's so much better. Wait, you just explain to him. It's alright, sweetheart. Hey, it's okay. It's okay, Bobby. It's gonna end today. They'll leave this planet. Hello. Chris, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I'm gonna see you. So those poor cows are terrified. Cows are terrified. They're probably only a year old or a couple years old, but they're just terrified. It's like, just for a burger? Like, is that really worth a burger? This poor, terrified animal. Here's, here comes another one. So what happens, they go in there, they can probably smell the death in there. They get hung upside down by their hoof, and sometimes that dislocates their hip. A lot of the times the bolt gun in the head doesn't actually work, it doesn't actually stun them. I had a friend who worked in a slaughterhouse. Yeah, bolt gun in the head, hung up by their hoof, slashed throat open, drained of their blood, chopped up into pieces, and fed back to the population. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not bad, mate. Yeah, man. General. We only want a minute and then they can go. Let's, yeah. They could be at the traffic lights for the same amount of time. We actually thought you might be here to help us save the animals. We're like, oh great, the law's here. They're gonna, they're gonna stand on the side of justice and help us save these animals. We're, we're impartial, aren't we? Yeah, I know. So, yeah. You know, like uh, a couple of hundred years ago when they had, like, slavery was legal, like the police would have to defend the slave owners from people trying to liberate the slaves, yeah? This is sort of like a different type of slavery with just, like, animals. You know, and we're just saying, hey, it's wrong, and society hasn't caught up yet. Yeah. Two minutes. That's all we're asking for, mate. We don't much. But you know all about it, don't you? You know what happens in the dairy industry. You probably yeah, hear yeah. it from vegans. How, how they get pregnant, shove your hand up the think, I was at a dairy in Israel, and we've seen the calf get taken, and the cows pine. Yeah, they do it everywhere. And you hear them cry? Pining out. Yeah, Horrible. Plastic, stupid boxing. Yeah, it's worth fine. more than the taste of cheese. It's worth more than the taste. It's it's worth worth you care what you say, you're an animal lover. You're an activist. Well, animals, except for humans. Human. Yeah. 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 He wasn't stopping. Right. He wasn't stopping, was he, mate? No, not really. Oh, that's alright, guys. Ah. Right, I just, just drove past and I thought, wonder what you guys are up to. You must be. Oh, great, yeah. Um, yeah, we're an organisation called Devon Animal Save. Um, what, do you, what do you think about that? I despise it. Oh, do, do, you, do you eat animals? No. Yeah, oh, wow. You're, you're vegan. Is a no, no, no oh. not quite, mate. But I, okay, I but you're interested you're in it, though. about that kind of thing, yeah? Along those lines, or. Yeah, my, my, my struggle would be um, giving up fish. Seafood. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I, I don't eat meat. Do you know? Um, don't have dairy. Do you know much about That's fish? Like, don't buy leather. So, so yeah. this, uh, for the same reason you don't eat other animals would be like because they're they're sentient. They feel pain. They yeah, suffer. Yeah. You know, they want to live. Fish are just as intelligent. I, I know. They're sentient. I know. Yeah, they feel I, I pain know. more. They get dragged out the ocean and suffocate. Like they well, horrendous I mean, suffering. I think the good thing is like we're all vegan here. So yeah. like, oh, you yeah. ever wanted any information on veganism? You're I've in the got wrong information place. on veganism if can, you want. I, you can take one of my cards, dude. It's called Challenge Twenty Two, right? You can try it for 22 days. 
and you'll get assigned a free mentor. It's all free. This is basically what we do. You know, we document this, put it online for people to see, just so they can be like, well, you know, these are the animals that become your burgers, that become your steaks. That's it. They they don't make the connection, do they? No. If everyone had to come in here and uh, slit their own throat, it would oh yeah, that's what they were saying. Okay, it, so it, if slaughterhouses yeah. had glass walls, the whole world would be vegan. That's right. Yeah, no one wants to be a part of this. It's, it's unnecessary. We can eat so many different options now. Like, there's no need do, for do, it. Do, do, why? Why don't? Why don't you eat meat? Like, I'm the odd one out. Yeah. And my answer to that is, well, why do you eat meat? Yeah. Nice. Perfect thing to say. And you should say, well, why do you? Why do you eat animals? Yeah. yeah Instead yeah. of like take it away from that word meat and call them what they are, which is an animal, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not natural to do this to animals for something like a sandwich. If you sh we show children what happens to an animal in a slaughterhouse, they would never want to eat it. I, I said this to um, a former colleague, you know, yeah. I, I said they should teach us in school. Yeah, well, yeah, they, they well the industry stuff. have, uh, yeah. they're, they're making trillions off the backs of animals, trillions. Like, you know, the amount of animals that get slaughtered and they, they, what they do with their byproducts, their leather, their, you know, their skin, you know, so it's a massive industry, so they have vested interest in it, so they don't want to tell people not to eat them. What are you doing here? He's talking to these. Yeah. He wants to know what everything... he wants to know what's going on with the animals in there, why they're getting slaughtered. I agree with what these guys are doing. I think that what goes on behind those walls is disgusting. Yeah. Right? I know it's a job to you, mate, but I'm talking to these. Yeah. They're terrified when they go in there, these animals, so. Um, See what I mean? That, that, stupid now. Yeah. that just riles me up. I couldn't stand it all day, mate, with yeah. that. It's hard. R ripping in. Yeah. But you know, the, the good thing to know is that we have power in what happens to these animals in our life. So you can stop the cruelty in your life. And the only way to do that is by going vegan. My heart is still pounding now. I, yeah. I, I, no, I don't know hard. how you do we, it. We, we get the same. You, you know. should check out my YouTube channel. Stop. Stop. The hey, hey, buddy. Oh, don't swear at him. It. Stop the truck. Two minutes, buddy. Two minutes. Come on, just give us two minutes. Give us two minutes, buddy. Get some footage of the cows. So this is the only way you can make a living off the backs of these animals. What else could I do with the land? With the land? Can yeah. you cultivate any other type of crop? We do cultivation on the dry ground and the wet ground we use for stock. For the stock? Yeah. yeah. Do you think like that their life is more important than maybe being a little bit inconvenient for a while till you find another source of income? They have a good life. They have a good life? Yeah. They're fed well, they're never hungry, they're yeah. never thirsty, they're kept you... in sheds when it's wet. Do you care about them? Of course I do. Do you know I don't get a lot of pleasure out of bringing them in here, and I certainly don't get pleasure out of you gentlemen making it worse for me. It's ma you're making we're making it hard for you. Yeah. But it's harder for them, yeah. What about the animals? Well, how about if you get a rat in your house, would you kill them or would you feed? No, them? Or you wouldn't. Them? I wouldn't kill it. So you care about these animals. Yeah. I can see it in your eyes, and it, we, it makes it difficult for you when we tell you, hey, this isn't right. Well, I didn't say it wasn't right. No, no, but in your heart, you, you, you say it's hard for you to put them in this slaughterhouse. Yeah. Yes, it is. Because you know what happens to them in there, yeah? Yeah. And they're, they're terrified. I wouldn't say that, because they in, don't know what's happening. In there? They're yeah. not terrified? Have you seen video of them yeah. in there? Yeah. Their eyes? Yeah. You can see it in their eyes. You can't see it in their eyes? They're no more terrified than when I'm trying to get them in across to test them with TV because of the budget. I don't know about that. I think they're a little bit... You know how smart cows are. They come to oh, you yeah. when, they, when, when you call them. Yeah. They think they, that you're their protector, yeah? They know that I look after them. Yeah, yeah. so they trust you. That's and why I wouldn't stop coming in, because I don't want them in the trailer. They trust you, and yeah. when you do this to them, you betray them, yeah? I wouldn't say that, no. No? If you could find an alternative way of making an income, would you find it? Would you Would you start looking? This is, this is obviously, it's not natural for you to stick these animals in a slaughterhouse, otherwise you'd kill them yourself. No, I wouldn't kill them myself, I don't even own a gun. Hey? I don't even own a gun, so I wouldn't kill them myself, no. But you couldn't kill them yourself. No. Exactly. Is that, is that saying something? You got a heart in there. Well, I, I couldn't kill an animal. No. Yeah. You feel for them. Yes. But I have no. I have no other way with the land I own of making a living. To making a living. Yeah. No. No other way. Yeah. You have Have you even tried? Like I said we grow. Okay. Sorry. Have a think about it, mate. I have a think about it. Thanks for talking to us anyway. So that farmer, he was. 
tearing in his eyes. That one, like he really didn't like doing what he's doing and he just knows no other way. Like they've been taught that this is the way to make money and he, you know, uses his land to raise these animals and it hurts him to take him to this slaughterhouse and we were making him feel worse about that. So in a situation like this, I always tell people just listen to your heart. If it doesn't feel right in your heart, it's probably not right. I mean, to be inconvenienced for a short amount of time to make another type of income, but it's not the only way to make an income by slaughtering these animals. Farmers in particular know how intelligent cows are. Not that intelligence justifies anything, but they know that they're, they're a feeling sentient being in there. They spend more time with cows than any anyone, really, except for people in sanctuaries. So, I don't know, I just... I don't know why they put themselves through that. Like, he's obviously a caring person and he drops his animals off at a slaughterhouse, so they just try to push it into the back of their mind. I like to use this analogy, like, if you're brought up in a world where it's normalised to murder, right, and your whole village murders people and, you know, it's just a part of the culture, it's conditioned into you, it's traditional, um, the whole world's doing this. Is it the child's fault that they grow up to be a murderer? You know, the same thing with farmers, that they're conditioned to it. Is it the farmer's fault that they were brought into a, they were born into a generation of, you know, slave ownership and, and animal murder? People are conditioned to this violence. That doesn't make it okay, but there's a reason for it. And, you know, that guy, you could tell that he was, he actually had a heart. He was actually a good guy. He couldn't stand to drop these animals off here. He knows what happens to them. But this conditioning, this, harnessed mentality is what sort of programs good people to do bad things. Is there any other way you can make um, money without doing the animal thing? Can you do plant based, like grow, cultivate crops or something, like something that doesn't involve having to drop these little animals off at the uh, place where they get their throat cut open or? Yeah, but I, I got steep land, that's the trouble. It's hard, yeah. it's harder.